Let's look at question number 11. First of all, this is a two by two question, a very common type of question in GMAP math, and this part is called the original condition. Now, with the variable approach method, first what we do is modify the original condition. And what we've done here is represent it using a two by two table like this. And then what we do is fill in the table. Here's apple, an orange here, here's number, and this is unit price. 1.2 and 1.5, we already know that. X and Y is what we don't know, so we have two variables right now. X and Y, and we need two equations right now. So condition one and two each give us an equation, making it likely that C is going to be our answer. We'll look at conditions one and two together to see if that's the case. X plus Y is equal to 10. And 1.2 X plus 1.5 Y is equal to 13.8. So when you divide by 0 0.3, we have 4, y, 4 X plus 5 Y is equal to 46. And we can multiply 4 on that side as well. 4 X plus 4 Y is equal to 40. Subtract the two equations. What you get is negative y is equal to negative 6, such that y is 6, x is 4. As you can see, it's sufficient, and c is going to be our answer, as predicted. So the variable approach method, remember this well, because currently it's the most recognized and efficient way of solving math problems in GMAT.